What's going on? This is Crafty Redneck here. We're making some redneck supper. We got ourselves some beers. You know, we always gotta have the beers because they're fucking good for you. We got some steak going on right there with lots of marble and fat wine. and shit. Oh, you gotta have the wine too. This is Jeremy. He's my co pilot there. We're cooking up some good shit. Now, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook this here steak. Us being the Crafty Redneck type that we are. We got this fire over here and this barbecue going. Hey, say hello to the camera, boys. I'm making a fucking YouTube channel video there. Fucking crafty redneck shit. Say hello. Hello. What's going on? This here's our fucking fire pit. We're cooking some shit on there. Just an old barbecue there. This is how we do it around these parks. <laughs> hey, people like this shit, man. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're gonna throw the steak in the tin bowl, right? And then we're gonna wrap it all up there. And then right at the last minute, we're gonna just fucking throw some beers on it. You know what I mean there? Here, you wanna hold that for a sec, Jeremy? Get some action. Hopefully I don't make a big mess, but I probably will. We're just gonna fold them all up there real good. Try to make your fucking beer tight. And then we're just gonna dump a little bit of beer right on her. Because it's good for you. <coughs> and that's how we do it around here. Fuck yeah. We'll be back later for an update. <laughs> oh my god. So you can see we got our steaks on the fucking fire pit there. The barbecue jobby all just cooking away there. You know, that's good stuff. You got left a little opening on these babies there. You can dump a little extra beer in them for the flavor, eh? That's good eating. That's, a, that's how you feed a redneck right there. I'm telling you, there's no question about it. This is a redneck steak issue. Crafty redneck coming at you. Learning from the best, fuckers. There's our steaks. There's our steaks right there. Oh, it's gonna be good eating. Sitting in the fucking good eating. Or why not? Whatever. Sitting on the boat. Oh yeah. Fuck me now. What a guy. That is an excellent motherfucking steak right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Crafty Redneck. We'll be back at you later. Yeah, we got another, uh, I got another steak to cook here. We ran out of tin foil and stuff there. So, crafty redneck, get crafty again. Now, this is how you cook a steak when you ain't got nothing else to do it with. You see, we got the stick here. It all starts with a good stick. You need something with a nice crotch in it, right? And a good rugged stick. You're not cooking fucking marshmallow with your hot dogs. You know, it's a steak. So you got, you got this nice stick, eh? Big heavy fucker. I got this thing here, eh? A little crotch in it. You just take your fucking steak there. Set that up just like that there. Maybe you can see this. And you just kind of jam it right on there. You don't fuck around. Man, gotta eat a steak, eh? So you just kind of fucking poke her through. And you gotta try to get it sitting kind of flat. Because if you don't, well, you know, it's not gonna cook very fucking good. So you just kind of get it like that, eh? Something like that. You know. Try to spread it out there as much as you can. That way it'll cook even. See that? It's all about the craftiness, folks. All about the craftiness. So we got our steak on a stick there now. We're going back to our uh, going back to our redneck barbecue pit here. We run out of propane, but we, you know we got to eat and uh, stuff like that. And I forgot my beer there too. You got to put some beer on it because you know like meat and beer just always goes good together. We'll show you how it's done here. Just give me a minute now. Dump the beer on the steak, and that's the name of the game. See, now you got beer steak, and it helps wash all the shit off it. Now, you just kind of comfortably come over here, put your fucking steak on the fire, and you just let it rip. Then you give it a couple turns once in a while, 
I think that's how you fucking eat, cook a steak. This is pretty good too. It puts a smoke flavor in it, eh? Plus the beer flavor. Plus it gives you something to do when you're fucking bored and stuck on Graham and Ann. Bye. We just got her fucking sitting over the fire there, cooking away. I'll give her a little turn there. You see, she's starting to cook up pretty good there now. It's gonna be good eating. Good eating. Man's got to get his red meat into him. Got to. This cocksucker won't stay still for me, though. Oh. Putting a little more beer on the steak there. It's starting to get dark, but... I find if you put a little bit on while it's cooking, it kind of helps boil the beer flavor into it there. We all know beer meats, like I said, pretty good. This is good eating. You got kind of like the smoky flavor and it keeps a lot of the juices right in the steak. Everybody likes a nice juicy tender steak. Who wouldn't, right? Fuck yeah. What's going on? Fucking good. So there you can see the fucking fire cooked steak there. This is all cooked to fucking perfection, eh? See it's nice and juicy. You know what I mean? It's fucking juice just rolling right out of it. It's a good steak. You know. We'll try it out here. Oh yeah. Oh that's delicious. That's fucking delicious steak. Restaurants don't know how to cook steak that good. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, come on back, we'll show you how to make some more redneck grub, and all kinds of other redneck shit. Take it easy, over and out.